In this video I'm going to show you how to make an insect trap, show you what insects you can catch and move some of them into my biggest terrarium. First you will need two plastic containers of about the same size and a small shovel. Look for a part in your garden where there's some shadow or else the insects will be cooked. Dig a hole that is about the same size as the containers. The edge of the container should be at the same level as the ground. Because you have two containers you can take out one without collapsing the hole. Let's check what we got. You can see already a lot of movement in here. I'm moving the animals into another container to see them better. The beetle was upside down, I'm helping him. As you can see I have a lot of different species of animals, mainly one species of ground beetle, I have 7 or 8 of them. The centipede doesn't seem to like them. I also noticed they like to piggyback ride on the isopods. Here are two of them on the back. And the third one, why not? Another ice pot came to the rescue. This is a species of rove beetle, but the centipede is being an a-hole again. That's strike two, buddy. And here he is, our centipede. One more strike and you're out. This is a very big springtail. These are important because they eat mold in your terrarium. I'm moving the animals on the left into my terrarium, the ones on the right I'm going to release. I'm not moving any of the beetles into my terrarium because I don't know what they eat and I don't want them to starve. I'm putting them back in the trap with some ants that were still in there so I can release them all together. I'm still going to move the other animals into my terrarium so keep watching for that. Just releasing them on the same spot I caught them. Always remove the trap if you don't use it anymore, so no other animals die in it. This is my biggest terrarium and the new home for the centipedes, isopods and springtail. They will keep this millipede company. Here they go. Um, okay. I think he's happy with his new friends. Click this link to see how I built this big terrarium. Thanks for watching.